Ooh, it's a spooky and scary and sassy Halloween party. A spooky and scary and sassy Halloween party. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Low Calvary Halloween party. Yeah. <laughs> I am leaving these on because these are so awesome. <laughs> Well, I, everything you're wearing is <laughs> awesome. Which part? The glasses or the necklace? You know, I keep thinking I'm wearing my real glasses because they're so comfortable, except of the feathers flopping in my eyes, but they feel like my glasses. Okay, today in this video, I am going to share with you a low calorie, family friendly Halloween dinner. Guys, not only is your family going to love this, they're gonna have, with you, you and your family are gonna have a ton of fun making this and celebrating Halloween this way. This is also gonna show you that you do not have to take away or give up your favorite foods or your favorite holidays to lose weight. When we were growing up, we always had a cool dinner on Halloween night. Always, that's one of my favorite parts, always has been since I was a kid, about having a cool Halloween dinner. Kyle and I have lost 130 pounds each and we've kept it off for six years and one of the things we did not want to do was give up celebrations like Halloween and the food surrounding it. So this is why we were able to lose the weight and keep it off because we choose and make tasty fun meals like this. So today we are making mummy crescent hot dogs, baked fries, and haunted anabolic ice cream and I'm covering a pumpkin. Oh yeah. <laughs> So, I gotta read the paper, my cheat sheet. First, to make the mummy hot dogs, I took a package of low calorie chicken hot dogs. They were 80 calories per hot dog, and I made eight of them. So I made a little slice at the bottom of each hot dog to kind of create mummy legs. And then I made a slice on each side of the hot dog closer to the top to kind of make like mummy arms. These are mummy arms, by the way. <laughs> and then, I took eight crescent rolls from a reduced fat crescent roll tube and I rolled them out and sliced them with a pizza cutter as thin as I could. And then I took the little slices of crescent rolls and I wrapped them around the mummy, but don't do what I did, okay? I messed up the mummy. <laughs> I wrapped, Only the first one or two. I messed up the first mummy, I wrapped his legs and Kyle's like, um, aren't its legs supposed to like puff up and like be legs in the oven and I'm like, oh yeah. So wrap the arms and legs separate with the crescent rolls and then wrap it around its body and leave a little space for the face. You can use like candy eyes or ketchup or mustard. I of course am arts and crafts girl so I made fake paper eyes, do not eat those. But I am of course like paper so I made paper eyes. <laughs> so three, uh, it is, 400 degrees, preheat your oven, spray a cooking sheet with cooking spray, and then place your wrapped mummies on the cooking sheet, bake them on the top rack. I, ours cooked 14 minutes, 13, sorry, 13 minutes, and they were golden brown, and they were like perfectly cooked all the way through. And then, to make the fries, the baked fry recipe is actually in our guilt-free cookbook. So if you want to know the exact calories for that, you can check out the cookbook recipe. But how we made it is two medium-sized russet potatoes. Again, the oven preheated to 400 degrees. Spray a baking sheet with cooking spray. Rinse the potatoes, dry them. Slice them into fry shapes. Rinse them again, dry them. Cooking spray and salt in a bowl, toss them, cooking spray and salt. Then lay them in a single layer on your cooking sheet and put it at the bottom rack of your oven. This is gonna make them taste like actual fried fries when you cook them at the bottom. Cook them for 40 minutes and flip them every 10 minutes. So every 10, flip them, put them back on the bottom rack. They taste like they were fried, no joke. And 
So for the total dinner, um, oh, I used no sugar added ketchup, one tablespoon, and Sassy almost like, he almost went <sighs> passed out. I, like, finally, I finally converted her to a ketchuper. I wanted to try ketchup with the mummy hot dog. If you want low, like low calorie, no sugar added ketchup, oh my gosh, and I'm not a ketchuper. And I, it was amazing. And I even used it, the rest of it, for my fries. <laughs> and Sassy was like watching me the whole time going, you are eating ketchup, you know that, right? Yes. So if you choose to have the ketchup, it is 394 calories for the ketchup, the mummy dog, one mummy dog is a serving, and half of the fries. The fries makes two servings. Or without ketchup, it's 384 calories for one dog and half the fries. And then, while it was cooking, I carved a pumpkin. And this is like the perfect size, it's a pie pumpkin. Recipes in the cookbook. <laughs> the recipes in the cookbook. The link is in the description down below for the cookbook if you want it. And um, yes, I had a lot of fun. I haven't carved a pumpkin in a long time and um, that takes talent to uh, carve a small pumpkin like that, let me tell you. I was a little bit nervous. I was like, oh my gosh, maybe um, this isn't gonna work out because like it's really small. But I carved it pretty good, actually. Um, so next, we made haunted anabolic ice cream. If you're on Instagram, at the Colette's, you guys know we always post our anabolic ice cream and you're always asking for the recipe. It's actually Greg Doucette's. It's in his anabolic cookbook 2.0, and the link for buying his cookbooks will be down below. We also have two low calorie recipes in his Power 13 cookbook. So if you want that recipe, check out those books. And we made it haunted. So we basically took his recipe, modified it, and I put um, Halloween stuff on top. So what I did was I took, I'm just gonna look at my cheat sheet to make sure, I did, 10 mini marshmallows, and this is for two ice creams. So for one, I'll tell you what I did for one. Five mini marshmallows, two teaspoons of chocolate cookie crumbs, half a package of mini Oreos, that was five mini Oreos, four pretzel sticks, and two small graham crackers. I made, I took gel icing, and I wrote RIP on the two graham cracker pieces, and then I stuck them into the ice cream. First I put, the cookie crumbs on top like so it would be dirt and then I put the rest in peace tombstones on top then I took the ghosts and I put little eyes and a mouth <laughs> on the mini marshmallows and I made them into ghosts and then I put them on top and then I took the little Oreos and I broke the um, pretzel sticks into like quarters and I made little legs now they're like four and three legged spiders because there's not enough icing in the mini Oreos to hold eight but so four legged spiders it was. And I just pushed them into the icing in the middle and then I laid the spiders out on the ice cream too. And for the haunted anabolic ice cream, it's 404 calories. Now these are all approximate, so um, you know, whatever you use, it might be more or less. And that's for and a bowl bigger than Nicole's head. The bowl is literally- And my like, head, and I have a big head. You guys see the bowl in the thumb, in the B, I was gonna call it in the thumbnail. In the B-roll, you see it, it's huge. And the protein powder that we use for the anabolic ice cream is also Greg's. It's harder than last time. And this is vanilla peanut butter. Seriously, guys, like we've tried a lot of protein powders, and this one is honestly the best with the best ingredients. Like if you read the label, you know what's in it. And if you would like to get the supplements, he sells more than just protein powder. The link for that is also down below. And that's it, celebrate, have fun on Halloween. We choose low calorie versions most of the time so we can enjoy our favorite foods, enjoy our life, and love the weight loss journey. And we always portion out the toppings for the anabolic ice cream too to keep it lower calorie. Exactly, that's why I said five of this, five of that. And we chose like pretzels, low calorie. Mini Oreos, low calorie versus the real full cookies. Yeah, the full Oreo is much more calories, you get less of them. You get more minis, so we like to choose low calorie that you get a lot of, like pretzels and mini Oreos. So the friends, if you wanna know exactly what Kyle and I ate to lose our first and next 50 pounds, we have two weight loss guides, the links are down below, exact meal plans, exact portions, family friendly recipes, much like this one today, that are tasty and you'll love it, or guilt free cookbook, 
favorite foods without the calories and extra without the extra calories and guilt. Or you can get these links are down there. Or you can watch these two meals for free and one more out. But we need these, don't we? Two one more. And we need um Perry the pumpkin is his name. Perry? Come on, Perry, you want a lawnmower? Well hold your head shut so we can lawnmower. Ready? <laughs> run, run, run. All right, Perry. Got a mummy back there. All right, guys. Run, run, run. Now, Perry, this is Perry's beam, PG for YouTube. This is my beam, PG for YouTube. Shake it. Shake your beam and shake your beam and shake your pumpkin. Hoo hoo, hoo hoo, hoo. shake your beam. Doo, doo. Nice job, Perry. Bye guys. <laughs> like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell. We love you. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Goodbye. Bye, God. Love you. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give